How to create an object store for FileNet in a container environment. In this micro TV, we will introduce how to create a new object store for FileNet in container environment. First, we need to run the following shell on the DB2 server to create a database. You can say that the database name is CSSOSDB. Then in next step, we need to modify the YAML. Make sure the, uh, the parameter sc underscore content initialized equals false. And then we need to add one section and a DCOS uh, data source. This is the section content we added recently. You can see that the database name is according to the database name we created just now, and also the data source name, and also the DB2 server name. And then we need to apply the YAML. Then we go to the real environment to save this YAML. You can see that the SC content underscore initialized is false. Then in that section, in the DC underscore OS data sources, there are three sections here. Then we add the fourth section, and the content uh, has been modified accordingly. In the third step, we go to the console. In the config maps, find the CPE uh, config, and you will see that there are several. There are three XML here. IBM underscore SO1 until IBM underscore SO3. Then you need to wait until the IBM underscore OS4 XML appear in this section. That is the content we added to the to that YAML. And uh, after apply that YAML, it will show up here. Then we go to the deployment, find the CPE deployee. After you find the CPE deployee, you need to scale down and scale up the CPE pause from here. After that, in the last step is we go to the SSAE. In the domain level, Go to database connections, create a new database connection for CSS OSDB. This need to complete with the database connections wizard. And then go to the object store. With the new object store wizard, you can create a new object store, CSS OSDB. That is all the steps I tested. Please open the case to IBM technical support if you have any further questions. Thank you.